Well, last night, former Lone Peak High star Frank Jackson realized a lifelong dream by playing in an NBA game in his home state against his hometown team. Frank Jackson grew up going to jazz games, so to actually be on the floor playing against the jazz was a surreal moment. This is my home. Like, this will always be my home. Um, I've got tons of friends and family here. We always had, you know, tickets, or my buddies had tickets, so we'd, we'd come to, uh, you know, a ton of games. So it's just, it's crazy that I'm actually playing. It's, uh, it's unreal. Jackson left Duke after his freshman season and was a second-round pick by New Orleans, but he had to miss his entire rookie year because of two foot surgeries. It was tough. You know, it was something I never went through before. But I think at the end of the day, it taught me a lot about, you know, myself as a person and about, you know, just my love for basketball. And um, it allowed me to grow. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm healthy now and I'm feeling good. Jackson has shown signs of greatness this season, just like he did at Lone Peak, where he was arguably one of the best Utah high school players ever. Pelicans head coach Alvin Gentry wasn't so sure. He told me he's the greatest high school player to ever come out of Utah. <laughs> I, now, I don't that. know. I, I, I go, never said that. I, I, never go, said back, that. I go back and start looking at it. Oh, wow, you know, that's a pretty big statement to make. You know, for, But he said it. I, 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 I never said that. I never said that. But if you look at it, there are just five Utah high school players to have NBA careers of five years or longer. Bingham's Fred Roberts, Sean Bradley from Emory, Skyline's Danny Vrains, Highland's Jeff Judkins, and Alta High's Travis Knight. Jackson wants to be the next. You know, that would mean the world to me and I just think, you know, it's motivation just to, to continue to work hard and, you know, be on that list and, uh, you know, represent the city of Utah. You know, only 25 guys total from Utah high schools wow. have played in the NBA or ABA and only five, like I said, have played five years or more. Jackson could be the sixth because, I mean, he's got all the tools. Is